Thoughts on fuel additives for those of us on E85? I have never used that stuff, <clears throat> but there are good reviews of people saying that it helps with lubrication throughout the fuel system. What testing did they do? Like, I mean, people say that. I mean, lots of people will try and justify things with less talking points of whatever the additive maker is, but I'd, I'd be careful. Yeah, yeah with I, just. It's it's always sketched me out because you don't know it's not a controlled or regulated thing. You don't know how it really affects the octane and the performance of the fuel, what how it affects the components. Um, so yeah, I've never uh, ventured into that uh, that world. Ooh, a lot of questions. Yeah, we got a lot of questions here. Uh, running the low torque ninety three on a Mark A GTI, I love it. Any negative long term effects of running E eighty five daily other than lower miles per gallon? Yeah, not that we know of. Um, we've, we've discussed before, E85 isn't um, quite as good of a solvent as gasoline. So things like gumming and varnish can become an issue, especially in the injectors themselves. But again, there's nothing, there's nothing specific um, that we can say or recommend, or there's, it's not like X percent difference than gasoline. So. Uh, there's lots of factory cars that are designed to run E85 reliably. So, yeah, nothing specific. I would I'd just say, you know, as always, when you're pushing, you know, high outputs, just make sure your your fuel injectors are in good shape, which <clears throat> which can mean proactively replacing them every so often. You can also send them out to have them cleaned. <clears throat> 